So, I've been working with these for a while. I ended up getting two of them to this, to a team. I just need to get two more to a team and then um, get them fully grown. Yeah. I swear these people have been talking about this body coverage thing for the past hour. Literally just turned 7 a.m. I am stuck now. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. Come here. You want to go camping or you want to go to bed? I'm going to assume you want to go to bed. Perfect. Chirill has no choice. She and millions like her walk miles a day through dirty water. But together, by providing clean water close by, instead of spending hours walking in water that makes them sick, girls can be in a classroom and moms will be back. I'm going to go ahead and put you in the shower. You'll just sit in there while I get ready. I'm gonna go ahead and dress up. You think you don't buy tactics? I Okay, at this point I literally have um over a thousand dollars. I forgot my number at the moment. Um they, where are the freckles? Where are the freckles? Freckles! I do think there is someone in here who has bad intentions. There's something crazy. Yeah. Okay, I'm blind apparently. Oh. Oh gosh. Ugh. It's not Halloween yet, but okay. Actually, it's probably like... Show so much skin. All right, we'll go with this. Until the shadow man showed up. 
That's what I was going to ask is, why now there is a shadow man? My son and my granddaughter both see, and they've got a very, very bad, dark feeling when he's around. They both yeah. see. And they see and feel way more than I do. That's scary. Yeah. I mean, I've been living with whatever we have here for a very long time, so it takes a lot to rattle me. Right. But that is not okay. It's very frightening. Let's walk around the house, and you kind of describe these experiences as we go, just so we get kind of a frame of reference as we investigate. Upstairs is where they usually see the shadow man. We don't want to talk about it in front of the younger kids. You know, I don't want them to feel like you can't sleep at Grammy's house. So this is my son's room. He was laying in bed, and he heard pounding in the hallway, and it was just coming right straight up to his door. He was standing on this side, waiting to see what was going to happen, and it just, boom, cracked his door. That's an intense force. Like, that's... For something to do that to that door, that's intense. It's scary. No one wants to be scared in their own house. My son's gotten to the point where he doesn't let us discuss it in the house. Because whenever we talk about it, it's starting to happen. Has the activity picked up since you contacted us? Yeah. Okay. He saw something when he came out of the bathroom last week. And he could feel like some kind of like electricity, like something was happening. Um. Okay. So he knew something's gonna be there. Look, right about here was the shadow oh. and they just stood there like facing each other for a few seconds and then it just okay. started. Okay. I should probably and what who's in that room now? My grandson when he sleeps over and he really doesn't like sleeping in there any longer. Okay. Let's head back downstairs. This is Tiana's room. She feels safe right here. Yeah, well this is really yeah. from her. Yeah, the other morning, she was laying in bed. She heard someone in her bed, like the rustling of the covers, and she knew there was someone there. I was really off. trying to make it out. She just closed her eyes for the longest time. So she, just, she doesn't really have a whole lot happen in here, though, other than that, right? I think she probably might have some stuff going on that she just blocked out. Up until now, we really don't discuss all this inside the house because it gets rattled up. I'll talk to Nathan. Talk to Tiana for sure. Thank you for coming. Yeah. I think it's important that we talk to Nathan and Tiana directly because this house has a different effect on different people. Kathy, for the um. most part, has been blissfully unaware of this almost darker presence. But then you look at like Tiana and Nathan, they're having very vivid, unpleasant experiences in their house. Adam's gonna interview Nathan, I'm gonna interview Tiana, and then that way we can gather these claims and experiences. It'll be interesting to see if they really do align to the extent that Kathy. There's so many different things that happen in the house. You'll hear a lot of noises. Sometimes it's just a harmless shout. Sometimes no, there's things gosh. going on. I've been touched, I've been pushed. I don't even like talking about it. Right. Nice dog. Um, Do you like talking about it in the house? No. By the sound of talking to your grandmother, things have changed here recently as far as the paranormal activity. Would you agree with that? It's definitely ramped up. I got this boy a little bit ago of a peg. No thanks. I want you. I want you. Just disappear and it's just everything just changes the atmosphere just feels heavy. Is that accompanying yeah. with activity? Uh, nice bunny, I have two of those. Probably every time there's I get them too often. It, it just it feels like you're Ooh. in a space. You're describing like a darker presence. Have you seen this? Yeah. Yeah. Um Evelyn, I just want to I'm let you know on this thing. I can't see people chat. I know it kind of proves me wrong right there, but trust me, actual, like, act, people actually typing in things, I can't see it. It just pops up as a small, little, short, white bubble, and nothing in it. And I can't see what you're saying, and if I try to 
chat to you. I don't know if you see it. So if I don't talk to you or if I don't make sense, then, then I'm here. Hungry, uh, I'm just gonna go in here. We could go home, but no. This thing, though. Ugh. Um. Okay. I opened that door. I it didn't feel right, and I picked him up, and I was holding him, and I um, go camping? went to walk out of the room, and I turned to shut the door, and it was right in front of me. And all I could do was shut the door, and I just cried. Its anger was pouring through the door, like it did not want me in that room. I'm concerned for you guys because I can see how much it's affected you. Yeah, I just, um, I just want it gone. Uh, all right, so oh, I really want to talk to you about Tiana. Tiana saw something that's highly disturbing. So disturbing that, like, her even describing it to me, she kind of burst into tears. The weird thing is, she could feel it. She could feel that it had bad intentions, that it was not a nice thing. It's the same kind of thing. There's something weird. There's something weird. And now I'm, like, really anxious to get in there. But I do think there is someone in here that, for some reason, has bad intentions. We're going to figure out who this shadow man is because I think he presents differently to different people. Right, and there's something crazy about him. Yeah. According to them, everything we've done today should have riled things up. Great. So let's go. We've asked the masters to step out for the evening so we can start investigating immediately. We're putting cameras up anywhere they've encountered this shadow figure. Hopefully, we'll see it for ourselves. Every angle covered. Okay. We'll start by conducting the spirit box experiment. The device rapidly cycles through white noise, creating waves that give spirits a pathway to be heard. I will isolate myself in Nathan's room with a blindfold, and Amy will ask questions from the hall. I want to see if I feel the dark, draining sensation he described. Hold on. Uh, oh, Crudish Bandit. Um, I'll get back to you guys on this. Um, alright, uh, bye, I guess. What the heck is that thing? Yep, we're leaving. Bye bye. Okay. Uh. 